Hello everybody, my name is Palm and welcome to welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally starting Arcane Season 1, right when Season 2 drops. Uh, I've heard so many good things about it. Um, I know it's based on League of Legends and I know that like even if you don't know about League of Legends you can watch it as well. So I'm excited. It's been like rated like the best animation like in like a long time or maybe even ever. I'm not sure but I'm really excited to watch um season one and get into it get into the story it looks fun and yeah honestly so without further ado let's get into this video wow this is well that's a scary sight to see oh i'm assuming that's their parents are they blood sisters because their hairs are very starkly different colors I know one of them is Jinx. So I know a little bit of League of Legends lore. So I know the blue-haired girl is is Jinx. So, but but that's it. I don't know any other League of Legends lore besides that. Oh, he took them in. Did he become a pacifist now? <laughs> Did he change his ways? Oh, they left too. They're like, you know what? <laughs> it's like that Pepsi. It's like Kendall Jenner with the Pepsi. Stop racism. <laughs> Interesting. This is like steampunk era. And one day, I'm gonna shoot one of them down. <laughs> Vi, are, are you sure? We all gotta have dreams. I know there's like two sides to this, you know? Like there's like the nice side, uh, and then there's like the not so nice side. It's a very simple, simplified way of putting it, but that's like. The gist of my knowledge. Powder, look at me. What did I tell Bro, you? she is rightfully that. scared. I feel like you should not be dragging your <laughs> little sister into this. <laughs> I'm keeping the buck. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! I don't know if I'm dragging my baby sister into all this stuff. I have to see theme so stuck in my head. Look around you. You think anyone top sides going hungry? Besides, this is exactly the sort of job Vander would have pulled when he was our age. Who's Vander? Is that the guy who took them in? All clear. Sounds like there is two different sides then. And I'm assuming this is like the I was right, this is like the not so nice. This is the nice side, but then you no. Know, you get what I'm saying. Okay. Words are hard sometimes. Cool. There's tons of enforcers down there. Means we're in the right Yeah, but place. nobody ever looks up, which is so true. Nobody looks up ever. Seeing as I'm the only one who knows how to pick locks, I suggest- Oh, okay. That- that's- that's a way. We could do that. <laughs> I sneak quietly when you can just bust right in as loud as possible. Mm. I guess they're just yoink and stuff? Whatever they can find? Well, I- I mean, I don't know, I guess to sell, maybe? Wait, why? How the hell did we find this place? It was a tip from Little Man. Little Man? Just leave it. That is true and sad. Except for hoarders. I don't think I don't think hoarders are rich, so <laughs> there's that. Animation is really nice. I don't even know what style you would say this is. It's like I don't know. Ooh, free sandwiches. Yeah, I didn't even yeah, I don't even know what style I would what you would call the style, but whatever it is, I really like it. Like like uh, hand drawn is just so like dumb thing to say. But you know what I'm saying? It looks like like you could see that it's hand drawn, but like it doesn't look like it's hand. You know what I'm saying? Like that hand drawn comic book style sort of stuff <laughs> art. I don't know what I'm saying. Time to go. How do we gotta go? Oh, or <laughs> oh, that doesn't look good. This is why we don't bring children along to big girl jobs. Like, cause what is that? You gotta go. Oh my goodness gracious. Why does he have like explosive charges like in his room and like, especially like, what, six of them just chilling in there? Like that's his fault at that point. Like that, that's literally his fault. Like, why do you have that in your room? Oh. <laughs> Shit. They finally looked up. 
Yeah, you guys gotta run. You guys gotta run. You guys gotta book it like crazy. Anyways, very pretty, by the way. Very pretty. Let me know if this tip of art style has has a name, by the way. I'd be really, I, I, I want to know. I'm really intrigued by it. Run, Forest, run! Oof, they're running so fast. They're just bumping into walls. Oh gosh, disgusting. I mean, I, ooh, that is disgusting. Disgusting. Guys, what was that? What the hell happened back there? Ask your little friend over know. there. I didn't do anything. You, you totally like did. Library with all the things you didn't do. Guys, hmm. we just emptied a trip over contact right under the infectious major. So if you're done beating yourself up, let's get this home. Someone, uh, someone really kicked the nest, huh? Is that so? Uh oh. But now you're you're tracking this mess of yours through my streets. Your street. Who are you, man? <laughs> We don't want any trouble, okay? Hear that, Deckard? They don't want any trouble. You know, in my experience, trouble finds you. All right, random bozo number 54. Like, come on. Just a taste? Just a <laughs> Nice. He said, hey, all right. He's like, you want a taste? Boom, take my full bag. Ooh. Oh, that hit hard. They are getting their butts kicked. Oh, actually, no, no, they're doing some butt kicking. Okay, okay. The powder needs to go. She needs to treat me like, like, oh, girl, you gotta, you gotta dip. You got the goods. You gotta dip. Damn. Kicking butts and taking names. <laughs> That's what you like to say. Ooh. Ooh, they're really going at it! Wow, okay. Wait, she really ain't pulling her punches, really. No, she she tough. <laughs> she built for tough. Ooh, okay. Are we trying to kill people or what? <laughs> like, that's a lot. Wanna see how that ends? Huh! All right, put that away, my friend. I have a feeling she will kill you. <laughs> Where's powder? She ran for. Oh, she's still being chased. Run, girly, run! Come on, Bowser. I need you. Got a bomb? Makeshift little bomb? No. Well, she tried. At least she tried. Like, what are you, what are you gonna do? Oh, she just put it in the water. Well, did she jump in too after it? You did what? I'm sorry. I tried to fight him off with Mauser, but she didn't work. Ah, sweet sister. That's all that matters. Who cares about your stuff? I mean, they can't swim underneath and get in. Every time she comes, something goes wrong. She jinxes every job. Just drop it, Milo. Love that. Love that name drop jinxes every job. Love that. I see that foreshadowing. Love the soundtrack, but obviously for copyright reasons, I will not be including any parts that has copyright songs in this reaction. I ain't trying to catch a case, okay? Not gonna happen. But the coloring and everything, so good. I love it. We shook on it. We shook on it, so that makes it uh, non negotiable. <laughs> Did you hear? He can't. He can't do that, guys. He can't do that. I don't think these are people you want to make your choice. Mess with or say no to. <laughs> she says the money or my knife. <laughs> she is not playing around. You sure about that? Sounded to me like piss off. 
Whoa. Huh. You're just gonna take that? No. <laughs> I think I know what you need. <laughs> I was like, he's not gonna take that. Don't threaten the guy who pours the drinks. Oh. <laughs> Hound of the underground. I expected something younger. Damn, something? Wow, okay. <laughs> How about you just give Huck the rest of what you owe him, and I'll let you walk out of here in one piece. He's hiding behind his string. He's like, I, also, I, don't, I don't know this vendor guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> please don't kill me. Do we uh, have a deal? <coughs> oh, well, that looks so uncool. <laughs> also, germs. Ew. Like, what? Well, you know this lady. Vander learns none of this. No worries there. Powder took care of the evidence. I tried, okay? You don't get it. Don't worry about it, Powder. She is like eight or whatever. Like, calm it down. Don't suppose you can explain why it is that I'm hearing about an explosion and a foot chase topside? Where did you even get this tip? Little man. I took us there. If you want to be mad, be mad at me. Why? They've got plenty while we're down here scraping together coins. When did you I wonder if they have some sort of uh, shadow deal or something going on. You stay on your side, we stay on our side, and that's that's we don't interfere. I mean, that's what it is. That's why he's so adamant about that. I don't know. We make ourselves a problem for Piltover, and they will send the enforcers. This it's not gonna solve your problems. He did turn pacifist, but he's also not wrong. But I get also what she's saying, too. Some idiot was following us. I don't know. He was after the stuff. Where is it now? We lost it. All of it? Good. No. Not all of it! Powder's got some stuff in her pocket. We're gonna be fine, right? I'll take care of it. No, oh, he's a good, he's a good foster dad. He's a good dad. And what are you gonna do with those explosive charges that blew up like half of a building? Milo, I'm really do not. Do you remember what was in that bag? The biggest payout we've ever seen, and she just lost it. He threw it in the bottom of the lake. You can go swim for it. I didn't mean Powder's to. my problem, okay? Your problem is never knowing when to shut up. Yeah, you put him in his place. That's her sister, man. She's gonna always gonna bat for her sister more than she's gonna bat for you. Hey, little man. Wait, is a little man? The little man? Is that that little little tiny little baby kid that just walked out? Is that? Little? I don't think so. But what? Someone was following them. A whole lot of someone's from what I heard. Not enforcers. Someone on our side. Someone's a betrayer. Yeah, I was hoping you'd be working today. Did you guys go? Sure did. Hey, listen. Oh, that is little man. Whoa! Did you fight the enforcers? What? Oh no, that's just some bombs. Oh, did I kick their asses? Little man, you need to stay out of their business. <laughs> like, stick to helping that guy in his shop. So how'd you find that place anyway? <laughs> uh, this weirdo came into the shop, bought a whole bunch of stuff Benzo only keeps there for display. Well, that's not suspicious. Yeah. Followed him? How else? Oh, right. Oh, crap. Ooh. Time to hide. They're wearing gas masks as if they're just, as if they're gonna like suffocate and die. If they're like on the moon or something. Some like, trench <laughs> trash attacked one of the buildings in the academy district. But you already knew that. We're looking for the culprits. I'm gonna stop. Or sounds so familiar. The same one from Expanse? The lady? Listen, you shady son. How about you go for a little walk, Marcus? Cool off a bit. Oh my gosh, I think that is her. Hey, look at the cast. They're voice actors. Other, you're not gonna die. Like, <laughs> like you are fine. <laughs> Being so dramatic. The gas masks are so dramatic. That's crazy. Lovely chap you brought. Little man is doing too much. Like, I'm worried for you. I know this crossed the line upstairs. Was anyone hurt? A building was blown to bits. It's a building. You'll be fine. 
<laughs> like, who cares? It's a building. That workshop belonged to the Colonel. Makes this place look like a candy shop. The council needs someone to make an example of. I mean... <laughs> I knew it! I knew they had a deal! That's why he's so adamant about not going up there. If I don't put someone behind bars tonight, the next time I come down here, I'll have an army of invoices with me. No, pick a random bum off the street. I mean, honestly, uh, you know, like pick the worst one. If you change your mind, this will reach me. And I say this because like, it's it's like a random person or like, you know, Powder and Vi, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think any of them can handle an army. They can handle themselves, but I don't think they can handle an army of like enforcers. You want to talk about today? What's the point? It ruined everything. I always do. You did not. No, just that you were twice the person at half my age. You heard them. Oh, they suck. <laughs> they will with the little charges that you got. <laughs> Foreshadowing. That's where Clagger got his foot stuck running from enforcers. They thought it was funny, so they left him there. Oh, okay. Gross. <laughs> Look away. We've all had bad days. But we learn. This is really cute. These were in my pocket. They're from the apartment. Should we show Vander? No. No. <laughs> no. You should not. Milo's wrong, Powder. You're stronger than you think. This city's gonna respect us. I mean, I, I, I hope so, you know? But I feel like it's not gonna end well. Damn, pretty. I need a map. I'm so confused how the layout of this map works. I think I'm just being a dummy about it, but I, I don't know how this works. They're underground, now they're uh, top side, now they're left, right, center, all over the place. Oh my goodness, it's a little naked cat. I love naked cats, they're so cute. Ooh. I don't like that. <laughs> them had nothing to fear. That's scary. I'm sorry. They just caught us by surprise. They didn't catch you by the surprise you were waiting for them. The kids. It was their fault. The explosion in the upper city. I don't think that's enough to save you. No? Keep him off the streets. No, oh, never mind. It is enough to save him. Okay. Our timeline has moved up. It's almost faces. Uh, very messed up, sir. Did you know you look like that? Did you, did you look all like that, sir? Feeding time. Oh! What? No. Don't hurt the cat! So the cat- so the mouse sense senses imminent danger and then decides to dr take a drink? <laughs> He's like, that decides to have his last meal? <laughs> this poor little kitty! Oh no, run little kitty. Oh, that's horrible. That is horrible. Subject in mind. Someone just volunteered. Huh? Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who volunteered? Oh, wow, is that? Oh, that was a lot. That was really good though. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. It was really fun. It was really, really good. Really, really, really good. With that poor little kete, how could they do that to that poor sweet kete? Um, but honestly, honestly, really good. I like it. I really like the art style. It's like, it's really, really pretty. Art style is really nice. I like the. We started out, looks like their little little stunt that they pulled is going to cause a lot more ripples and issues than, uh, you know, I guess they they thought that was going on. Um, so that's going to be really interesting to see how all of that unfolds. Um, I'm really intrigued. It looks like there's already like a lot of tension. There is a war in the beginning that we saw the aftermath and it looks like that tension is still there. Um, clearly. 
And I'm curious to see because I feel like Vi, I think are, that's how you pronounce the name, Vi and Powder are gonna, they're gonna get into some stuff. Like Vi really just, you can tell she really like does not, is tired of being under the foot, the foot of, uh, what is it called? Piltover? Piltover, I think that's what they're called. She's like tired of being under their foot. She does. She doesn't understand why they have to, you know, essentially bow down to this like other side just because like they're nicer or whatever. Like she wants to be respected too. She wants to be seen as a human being too, as she should. So I'm really intrigued to see how that's gonna clash because clearly Vander does not think so. He clearly thinks like, you know, like this is the best option, which I get it. You can kind of see that in the beginning too. When he saw, I think they were the reason why he now thinks this way. Because he was all fight, fighting and hung home, like, let's fight. But then he saw that their parents were lying dead, which I can't tell if their parents were on the Piltover side, if their parents were on the other side. It was kind of, I was trying to look at their outfits, it's kind of hard to tell what side they were on. Because I feel like that would also mean, like, a lot if they were from the other side or not. I have no idea, but clearly seeing the parents were dead. He's punching this guy to death. They're there crying. Like, clearly, I think that made him realize, that, okay, this is not the way. Like, fighting is not the way. War is not the way. This is, this is not going to do anything. So, it's not helping. So, he, follow, he, he he's doing this so they can live some semblance of a life, even though it's not like a, a life that they want. It's not about them being respected. It's not a life where they are respected for just living. You know, but like it's it's good. I, I really like it too, and it's also like very like reminiscent of, of just like real world. Like you know, like being born like, like being born like a certain in a certain area or a certain skin color or whatever automa automatically puts you in like this box of like being treated like a certain way. So I do like it kind of parallels to real to real life a lot in a lot of ways. But I'm really excited to see more of it, to see how all this unfolds. I'm really worried because, like, they're really setting up this sisterly bond, like, really hard. And I'm kind of scared, you know, like, what's going to happen considering that now the Enforcers are, like, looking for them. They're looking for someone to punish. And if they don't, then they're going to look for them themselves. And, like, now, you know, that guy, whatever, the, whatever that kid just told this mysterious one-eyed guy that they were the ones that were involved like so now other parties know it was them and and so like too many people know it was them and then forces looking for them so i'm like really scared what's gonna happen i'm freaking out but anyways um let me know your thoughts and opinions in this, this comment section down below thank you guys so much for watching that's gonna be it for today's video um like and subscribe if you enjoyed Follow me on my socials to see more of my face in the description down below. And yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I'll see you next time. Bye.